Take it. So confirmation of the performance there from the number five C Tommy Sugiato. Joy there for Indonesia, as you can see, there will definitely be joy for Indonesia in our next match on court, the mixed doubles, because it is an all Indonesian affair. Marcus Kido, Pia Zebedia Bernadette up against Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto. Praveen Jordan, followed by uh, Marcus Kido, of course, uh, a world champion, and Pia Zebedia Benedet, brother and sister combination. And uh, an interesting match up this. Of course, in the mixed doubles we, we mentioned earlier in that last match that. Uh, Tintabi Ahmed and Liliana Natsia, of course, aren't here to defend their title. Marcus Kido there in the yellow and Pia Zebedia Bernadette. They are ranked number nine. They are the top ranked Indonesian pair here now after that withdrawal. The team manager was saying he felt they had a, a chance to win gold again in this discipline, but I wonder whether they fancy Kido and Bernadette to be the ones or Praveen Jordan and Debbie Sasanto who weren't originally on the list but because of the withdrawals they uh, they actually got in and uh, well they fancy they got a chance of a medal as well in the same part of the draw as Joachim Fisher and Nielsen and Christina Pedersen they could meet in the quarters but uh, as you can see that Number eight seeds, Kido and Bernadette. But even though their opponents are, are ranked, what's it, like 29 in the world, they are for confirmation there of that ranking. I've got the feeling that this one might be a, a little closer than those rankings suggest, uh, Jim. Yeah, it's always it's always close when you also have same as Nancy's playing each other. It's, it's know everything about each other. Well, he's obviously had a, a career to remember still. More to come from Marcus Kido. As you can see, they uh, have uh, been in the quarterfinals of the Malaysian Open, Swiss Open. Last two events reached in the semi-finals. They got into Australia and the 
open event in Chinese Taipei. So they've been in decent form, but they have met before, and it was Jordan and Susanto that won. That was in India earlier this year. Confirmation of our officials. Marcel Schmidt is uh, Heidi Marot. There was this little thing with Kido, you never really know who's gonna show up. <laughs> uh, his, his game is like... There's a, by the way, there's that previous meeting, and yeah. it's a great win for Jordan. That's a Santo. What is, you know, is, is he having that good feeling? You know, then he's really on fire. Then it's the Olympic champion of 2008, we see. If not, sometimes it's like... Well, uh, what, what about for him, Praveen Jordan? Is, sorry to interrupt, but no, you know, his first World Championships and he's facing Marcus Kido. The, the other, You know, I mean, he's a, <laughs> he's a doubles player and he's got this guy on the other end of the court. I mean, goodness me. Uh, for him, it probably doesn't get any bigger than that, does it? No, it does not. And, and in, in badminton terms, if you're big in Indonesia, you're really big, you know, you're your hero. You know, it's, yeah. uh, I mean, he's a good. I mean, he's only 20 years of age. They've got big hopes for Praveen Jordan. He uh, had a partnership last year with Vita Marisa. They won three events. Uh, Santo was a, a gold medal winner with uh, Mohammed Rajal at the Southeast Asian Games, and they obviously feel let's put these two together. There's a, there's great talent there, and I think the coaches think they've got a, a lot of potential, which is why I was suggesting, you know, when they talked about they had a medal hope here still in the mixed doubles despite the the number one seeds or the number one in the world not being here that I, I just wonder whether they're referring to this lady and her partner Bravin Jordan rather than Marcus Kido and yeah. his sister Pia Zebedia Bernadette well we'll we'll have to see yeah we'll see ladies and gentlemen Omar Wright Bravin Jordan Debbie Susanto Indonesia and on my left, Marquis Kido, Piazza Padilla, Bernadette, Indonesia. David Susanto to serve the Piazza Padilla, Bernadette, Lavo, play. Oh! So it's all Indonesian mixed doubles affair underway. Uh, Marcus Kido looks as if he was going to play a smash winner, but. Uh, Debbie Susanta did well to get it back, but in the end, Bernadette puts away the winner. Up. Just long. Training together, they will uh, know each other's flaws, their strengths pretty well. Yeah, and there's also always no sign of nerves, is there, from Jordan? Though. Four, three. Oh. Marathon match still going on, by the way, on uh, the court adjacent here to court number one, involving. One of the uh, seeds in the men's singles, Sean Wan Ho and Bruce Levedez, they've been playing an hour and eight minutes there, and it's oh. still all to play for. But uh, Five, good start three. from Jordan and Susanto here, the the young guns, if you like, compared to uh, 
their opponents. Ten years the difference between Praveen Jordan and Marcus Kido. I suppose the advantage for Jordan Susanto as well as they were in action yesterday, beat the Japanese pair of Hirokatsu Hashimoto and Miyuki Maeda. And a pretty tight match it was as well, 22-20, 21-18. It helps, as we talked about yesterday. I personally think it helps us to have been in here and a little bit competitive in the hall than not having played here or having had the match where you... It was, say, too, too easy, you know? So, nothing's easy at the World Championship, of course, but... Positive, confident start yeah. from the Jordan Sassante combination. But Jordan knows that Kido wants to come forward and and be active on the front court, and and there he uses it against him. So you can see Kido, very untraditional wise, like to go really for. <laughs> what a defense! <laughs> Not a bad return either. Oh my <laughs> goodness me! <laughs> Well, when you want Olympic gold, you can try those kind of things out on court. Well, that's that's Marcus Kido for you right there. You know, not only once but twice. How on earth did you? <laughs> <laughs> it's the way that the flick of the wrist as well. Incredible. It wasn't just you know, I try and get it back and play a bit of spin on it too. Robbie and Jordan couldn't quite emulate him there, could he? Not that many can. Sasanto. 11 points to six. Interesting that, uh, of course, uh, Kido it works independently, doesn't he, outside the PBSI. So sometimes when you see all Indonesian affairs or all country affairs, you don't see the coaches out there, but you do on this occasion. Yeah. Well, I think it must be, it must be a coach outside. If they were both in the in the federation, there wouldn't be any coach. That's 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 pretty standard, I think. Uh, I know when when we play for them, if Danish players played each other, the coach wouldn't be there. Even if it was outside the national squad, they wouldn't coach. So. Because in world championships, I mean, we've seen. Uh, you can play, you don't have to be even play together from the same country, can no. you, to compete? No. 
That's only the Olympics. Has it a guess, guess that the uh, match on the other court is the longest match in these championships so far? 73 minutes. Still going. As well, Sean Wan Ho and Reese Levadez. seen so far I think my theory might be true here. Yeah. 15 8 good lead already from Jordan and Sisanto. Very good lead. Dream lead really I have to say. Kido and Benedict very much second best so far. Long way still to go though in this contest. Yeah, they, 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 look, they look more movable, if you can say it like that. They look by they're moving better around court. They look younger, don't they? Yeah, they do. Uh, and, and, and we've seen that so far in this tournament, in this arena, that there's not that much drift and stuff like that, so it's more playable, and that it doesn't it doesn't really suit Kido that much. And I think we can see that here. He likes that it that people have to play flat play and service situation. And here he's he's made he's has gonna have to work for it because they just move away. Time to tell you that uh, that match is over after 77 minutes. And it was Sean Wan Ho won 21 19 in the final game. Looked a bit of a thriller, really. Yeah, great match. Even yeah. had a yellow card in it as well. Yeah, it was some drama there. Should probably have had a red, but. Don't want matches to end with a red card. No. So that's okay. But uh, yeah. That's long. Nothing going right for the brother-sister combo right now. from Marcus Kido means it's game points already hit. Oh, such great well, setup and we saw that in that conjured up in that point that he won mm -hmm. earlier. 
But uh, some sorting out to do here at the end of this game. Oh. And there it is, right yeah. through the middle. Comfortable. That's the word you have to use to describe the way they got through this first game. Praveen Jordan and Debbie Sasanto, 21 points to 12. Very convincing. Surprised how easy it's been, really. Yeah. But then again, I told you, from you know, Kido, you never know. And I think this hole doesn't suit him, you know. He, he would like extremely fast shuttles. I know they're fast, but he would like more or less be like in his and in his home uh, town there. I don't know if it's his hometown, but where National Stadium and where there's a lot of drift and, you know, it's more or less depending on the service situation and the drives and the flat play because he's so quick. And we, I think we saw the result of those saves he made there. But here he's, you know, Jordan is just saying, no, I'm not going to take that battle with you. You're going to have to run for it. And that doesn't suit him. To their stride a bit more here because you know, class a mistake from uh, Robin Jordan there at the start. Good smash. Mistakes, really simple as. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can see why they fancy him as a, a real talent. This young kid. That's a great smash. Absolutely nowhere that just pops up and pounds that cross. And if you wonder how they've been performing the rest of the year, I mean, uh, you know, they're in 29 in the world, but they they haven't been together for, as a pair for well, much more than eight months, really. No. They got to the final of the Malaysian Open Grand Prix gold. They got to the quarterfinals in the Swiss Open, the Malaysian Open as well. <laughs> Is well, he's, he's feeling the heat. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, I, no, think he, I, I do think, you know, well, I wondered how he would react to the fact Marcus Kido's at the other. And he obviously wants to show, you know, a, a hero of his how good he is. Yeah. And who wouldn't? 
But, oh, that's a good save. But a lot of potential, a lot of potential. going to come from for Kido and Bernard. It's hard to see it coming at the moment, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but I think the biggest problem here is that that, that game plan they're really, really good at. Uh, something like this, actually. Uh, they're just not falling for it. So they're not giving them time. So they, they can't start playing rallies because they can't. So uh, for them, it's very frustrating. They're going to have to do something like like Kido does here, and that's a very smart move by him. F a, a flat flick serve to get Jordan and Susanto into playing this fast-paced game with they like, where there's not so much movement, uh, service situation. Problem is they're playing a pair that that knows that they want to do that, and also are playing very. I mean, they're not making that many errors either, are no. they? So it's it's very uh, worrying times for. Nine. For Kido and Bandit. You see, this is exactly what he does. He knows that Kido wants him to hit hard and just plays it that clear behind Bandit and then can come in and with that. I must say, his smash sounds way harder now than in the beginning. Could be he's warm. Not that I can see how it can be cold in here, but. <laughs> That's a fantastic save, though. <laughs> uh, and you've got to say, I mean, Kido uh, it looks to be struggling a little bit as well with the yeah. conditions. No, he's not in the game at all. No. See, he's already standing and hoping. F See, that's Kido for you right now. He's he could actually. He's a very, of course he's a legend. He's a great talent, but he's standing there and waiting to play for a trick that shot. Trick yeah. shot. Yeah. So he he knows the game's up, doesn't he? Yeah. 11-7 in the second game to Jordan and Susanto. I thought this might be close. I gotta say, I did, did favour Jordan and Sisanta at the start, but it has been surprisingly one-sided. Yeah. Oh, that's good net play, Sisanta. Oops. And the first uh, first thing he's done wrong in the match. Yeah. Eight, oh, I need to be careful. Not playing too too old completion. Or maybe this did mean it. Seven Made up for it there. Sam is over. Well, but it, I think it is more, more down to Keto that if you see over the years that the, in the arenas he's had most, most success, it would be in arenas where it, it's really the. the, the pace is so high because of the drift and, and, and the casual badminton observer and obviously there will be some and quite a few watching because it's the world championships 
might be surprised. You know, you, some games, you know, you can see tennis, it gets very windy, or in golf, you could, you know, you, the conditions can play havoc, but in a, in a badminton arena, really, they can make that much of a difference. Oh, yeah. A lot. We saw that last year with the Asan and Seta one in the hotel where it was really drifting and very difficult to get away from them. They're very good in that situation. So you're suggesting they might have struggled a little more here? Uh, it wouldn't have been the same thing they were putting, you know, the first two days he showed me they would have had to work for it more than normally. But when that is said, they are very, very good at it. What we saw here, we, we saw the men's singles with, with Breeze and Pan that there is games that was quite long. It was 77 minutes? 76? 77. 77 minutes. But what about Pravin? Yeah, it's his first World Championships and his statement was, I think we can get to the semis. I mean, he's a very confident young man. Mm. The coaches obviously have a lot of belief in them. I still, I, I, they didn't say it, but I, that's who I think they were referring to yeah. when they said there's a middle hook. Joachim Fischer, Christina Pedersen have got to play these two in the quarterfinals if it comes to that. F from what I'm looking at, I, I see a great talent as well, but he knows Kido and, and, and Bandit in and out. Uh, Joachim and Christina would have more solutions. That's going to be a totally different game. Uh, if, you know, as I said, there's a few games to play before then, Ooh. but what's what's happened there? She's challenging oh, that. Oh, that would have a problem. I am actually think, I think she's right. She thought the serve was short, yeah? Yeah, but there's no challenge on that line. That's a problem. Yeah, you can't... Oh, I don't know, actually. Oh. Hmm. I'd like to look... Oh, we're not going to see it again. No. Anyway, what can we do? You can't challenge on that because there's no hook eye there. No. Yeah, might be a little well, bit of an opening 16. here for, for Kitu and Benedet. If it means that uh, their opponents lose concentration momentarily. <laughs> he's feeling 30 now, yeah. isn't he, Marcus Kido? Yeah. But he's, he's look his standings and he still, you know, would like to have Jordan come at him with pace, but he's just too good today, so those matches have been really, really powerful that second set. Yeah. They're almost standing still now, aren't they? Kido and Bernadette here. Let's look at the way that they react to this one. We've seen that a few times now, and that just shows that they know exactly how to play the, uh, play the game here. Every time he's in trouble and he can't hit it down or something, he plays it high down to Benedetta, and we saw the result of that here. She doesn't have the same strength. Well, the match, there. match points have arrived. But this seems a shock, doesn't it? The number nine seeds are going out. I should say the number eight seeds are going out. But, uh, it isn't a shock, really. No. There you go. Easy, easy. And, uh, well, what a performance, you have to say, from Praveen Jordan and Debbie Sasanto. Top class. They're going to be a threat, an unseeded threat in these championships. That's for sure. Match wild by Robert Jordan, maybe Sisanto, 21-12, 21-12. Well, there may be no Lidiana Natsir and Tantari Ahmed for Indonesia in these uh, mixed doubles this year, but, well, medal hopes with these two, the way they've played in this opening match. A really convincing display that took less than half an hour for them to overcome their compatriots. Yeah.
quality play by Jordan into centre. And he looks calm, yeah? Yeah, I wondered if there'd be some nerves there, but he absolutely loved that by the looks of things. So confirmation. It finished 21-12, 21-12.